So when you go to your webmail and you use this option top right, there's a little gear because you know when there's a gear, it means you can change something. If we click on this, you'll see there's an item that says CRM integration. If I click on that, it's going to give me options in terms of what do I want to do when an email arrives in Bittrex. So let's look at the different options. Option number one says route emails from existing clients to assigned CRM managers. So in Bittrex, a lead or a contact or a deal or something has a responsible person on it. So that means that if there's an email coming in and that entity exists in Bittrex and the email was created from there, or the contact is recognized in your database, those emails will be synced to the history. So if I open up the contact, I'll see the history of all those emails. We can look at an example now. Then this is the one where customers often trip. If this box is selected, you are telling Bittrex to say, create a lead for incoming messages from new email addresses. So that means every email coming in from an email address that's not on your Bittrex is go and create a lead. That's when you receive all those ping, 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 ping of all the leads being created and you don't know where they're coming from. So ensure that if you don't want that to happen automatically for every email, untick that box. Personally, I prefer to have the box selected as contact. Why? Because when you have your webmail open, and we can look at it now, you can manually click the box to say, save this to CRM. Um, so create an entity in my Bittrex for that email and then um, it will create a contact and not a lead. So, so those are the two very, very important boxes to make sure that you pick the right one. So if we look at this as an example, you can see over here on this email, it has the blue hyperlink, meaning something was created from this email when it came in. So automatically that was created. But if it's not there, the option where I tick contact and not lead, if I click this box now, it's going to create that manually. Not for all the emails, just the ones that I selected. You also have the option to say when I've done this and I want to stop all the feed, all the history showing on that specific um, uh, lead or contact, you can tick that again and you can say, oh, you can go on to the hamburger of the options of that email over here and you can um, exclude it from CRM. There you can see exclude from CRM. Then it's not from your own. It's not going to save anything, but the history will still be there. So lastly, let's look at an example of this email that was linked to the CRM. So you can see what it looks like when you see the history. So this is a test mailbox, so it's not going to be a real customer. I just want you to see the history of what happens. You can see I'm seeing the email over there. So that's for that box link to link to a responsible person. If that's not selected, you can still the email see, still see the emails in your web mail, but you won't be able to see it on this contact card. I hope that helps. If you still get stuck, please send us an email on support at fullview solutions with an S.co.za. Have a great day.